Hello Taurus, welcome to this end of the year review and look into 2022. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So um, this is going to be for any placement you like. Okay, obviously the main three, sun, moon, and rising, will most likely be the most relevant to you with your rising being the absolute, okay, the, the one that's probably going to be the closest. Um, but, you, but, but these readings are intended for you to just be able to... Um, get some quick messages in terms of reviewing some of the energies that you may have experienced over 2021 and then looking at looking forward into what could be coming for you for 2022 so anyway so from whichever placement you want to watch that watch this it, that is absolutely appropriate if you want to watch many different ones that you know your major ones and then compare and contrast notes that's advisable as well yes Alrighty, Taurus, so we're going to get into this. I have two decks here for you. I'm going to use one deck to look at, to review the energies of 2021. Then I'm going to use the second deck to review energies and look at, see what's going to, what could be coming forward towards you in 2022. And then we will be closing out the reading with some Oracle guidance from the Lightworker Oracle. Yes? Excellent, Taurus. Let's get into this. I want to give this three shuffles for you and we will see what your 2021 has been. So reviewing 2021 over for you. Yeah, one. For my Torrens. This is two. What was, what was 2021 about for Taurus? This is three. Also keep in mind, guys, these are general readings, right? So it's not necessarily going to resonate for everyone, but take it as it resonates. Yeah, cool. So for Taurus, what was 2021 about? Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ah, okay, I get it. So Taurus, 2021 seems to have been um, an energy for you in which you were gaining the emotional maturity and clarity to potentially leave some things behind. All right, now Taurus, you're a fixed sign. Okay, so change for you, just like any of the other fixed signs. Although, however, I feel like out of all the fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio, you guys may have the hardest time with change, okay? Because you're an earth sign, you know, you're grounded, you move slowly, and you, you know, you, as a fixed sign, you hold the trajectory of a certain direction, a certain movement, right? Now, you're also a type of energy that can really shoulder a lot of burden. And, um, and really probably not be too phased by it, right? But it seems that the year of 2021, over the year of 2021, you have been dealing with circumstances that have been helping you get a strong, get to a stronger level of emotional maturity and emotional clarity, the King of Cups, which is allowing you to walk away from some things that are no longer serving you. You have that with the Eight of Cups. But not only do you have that with the Eight of Cups, you have that with the Six of Swords in reverse. And specifically, what the Six of Swords in reverse is telling me for you, Taurus, is that there are certain situations that you are you you are no longer putting your energy into. What I'm what I'm hearing is you can no longer put your energy into because for some reason those situations or circumstances and this does feel like relationships. Those situations and circumstances are, they cannot move forward, okay? Or at least they're not moving forward with your energy, with your input in there. And I don't feel like you putting your energy into it was detrimental. I just feel like it got to a point where there was no, there was no healing this. There was no bringing this back to life. There was no changing this. There was no moving forward together in this direction or whatnot, whatever. There was no way to get out of the difficulty you might be might have been experiencing in these situation or situations, situationships, romances, whatnot, whatever. And instead of trying to keep on, keeping on, keeping on, right? Instead of trying to move forward together somehow, or instead, I'm getting this feeling of needing to find a way to salvage the relationship or salvage the situation or situationship, right? That couldn't work. That was not going to work, okay? And it, it's, it's not because you failed. It's not because you're incapable. It's not because the other people or the uh, whatever is incapable. It's, it just feels like the divine, the universe was trying to get you to understand that it's just not something that was meant for you any longer or not something that you needed to be giving into or trying towards any longer. And that's where the emotional maturity of the King of Cups comes into play. 
because this is definitely this definitely has loyalty feelings surrounding it and Taurus you can be a very loyal person right you are one of the most loyal signs out there maybe next to Leo right your loyalty was tested I did just hear your sense of loyalty your sense of commitment to a situation or a circumstance. And I'm getting this energy, Taurus, of like the universe was kind of testing you, seeing how far you would go, seeing how much energy you would put into it before you realized you had to stop. And you didn't, and, and, and coming to terms with having to stop is not something you took lightly. And what I wanna say about this, Taurus, is that I really feel like you have passed that test it was like a, a universal energetic test. You passed it with flying colors, okay? You really allowed yourself to be emotionally mature, to focus on what was really important instead of giving in to something that really just wasn't going to work any longer, right? Overall energy for you, Taurus, you do have the Nine of Wands, but then underneath the Nine of Wands is the Hanged Man and the Empress. There you are, potentially. The Empress is Taurus-type energy. But this is what we were talking about. The Nine of Wands is that perseverance, right? The Nine of Wands is the overall energy for you. So the Nine of Wands was that perseverance in terms of let's just, let's keep trying. There's got to be a way that we can do this together. There's got to be a way that we can salvage this relationship. I heard that specifically. But then ultimately, within that struggle, within the confinement of that situation, maybe even within the stagnancy of that situation, you reach the enlightenment. And part of that enlightenment, Taurus, is that there are plenty, plenty of opportunities, plenty of relationships, plenty of fish in the sea, whatnot, whatever. The universe is abundant. So it's not like this is the only thing that you're going to receive your validation from or your success from or whatnot, whatever. I mean, this literally could be anything for you. But one of the main things that I'm feeling for you, Taurus, is this is having to do with relationships. Now, it could be love in terms of like a romantic relationship or a romantic partner you've been with for a while. It could also be interpersonal relationships in terms of like friends and family, whatever. It also could be business for you guys. Taurus, you're, you are the ruler of the second house, so you're very much about money and stability in that sense and so um, and material material items and all that. So it could have something to do with business. But the, the strongest thing that I'm getting here for you, Taurus, is that this has to do with interpersonal relationships. But obviously, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates, right? Okay, I want to get one more poll here, Taurus, for you in terms of the past. Anything else for Taurus for the review of 2021? Yep, look at that. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, Taurus. I'm going to take this one too. Oh, boy, Taurus. All right, overall energy. Now you do have the three of swords. But wait. So for some of you here, this actually really was a topic of contention. Like this was a situation for some of you, Taurus, in which um, you really got hurt by this. Your sense of pride and ego has been shaken. You might want to watch the Aries reading because this is a very similar energy. You guys are right next to each other in the Zodiac, so that pretty much makes sense. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, this hurts you. Probably. But you have here the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and then Death. And specifically, Taurus, this feels like you were carrying the weight for a lot of people, potentially, or just carrying a significant amount of weight in terms of or in relation to like your, your interpersonal relationships and stuff, right? You were carrying way too much. You were overextending yourself is what I'm hearing. And there has definitely been a big shift in you because you are, you over the course of 2021, you got to the point where you were vigorously probably cutting people out of your life that don't have their own sense of self-sufficiency. Nine of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you got to a point this year, Taurus, over the course of 2021, where you started to really realize and focus on your self-worth. You started to really focus on self-worth, on your self-worth, and really started to realize the depth of what was happening around you. And that may have really pissed you off. That may have made you very, very angry. And rightfully so, Taurus. But you cut that out. Anybody or anyone 
that is in your life or was in your life that is not making self-sufficient moves, you don't want anything to do with it. And this is not to say that you're not willing to help. You're not being to, willing to be a provider. You're not willing to be there for people. Queen of Pentacles. No, you still are. But the Queen of Pentacles is the type of energy to not allow herself to be stolen from, to not allow herself to be a part of a situation that is not reciprocal, to not allow herself to continue to be associating with people that are not, that are not keeping up their end of the bargain. Not anymore, Taurus. This was a big shift for you. Death. Scorpio energy, okay? King of Cups and death here. You might have Scorpio in your chart. You might have been dealing with a Scorpio or something about Scorpio season or Scorpio energy may have been really transformative for you. But ultimately, what I feel like here is the, the, the big level of Scorpio that's involved with this is the depth of Scorpio and how Scorpio likes to really like, like, can sometimes seem like he's going to the extremes, right? And digging up, unearthing things or digging things up that have been deep down and hidden for a long time. But that happens in terms of transformation. This is a pretty serious transformation for you, Taurus, in the realm of your personal relationships, but you're only going to be better off from it. Whoa, okay, look at the bottom of the deck. Three of Swords, right? What's underneath the Three of Swords? Judgment to the devil. Time to wake up, Taurus. It's time to let go of these toxic ties. It's time to stop carrying the burdens for people. Carrying their dead weight underneath the devil is the six of wands, Taurus. So even though this may have not have been easy or pretty, ultimately, you win. Oh shit. Okay, Taurus. I see you, boo-boo. Let's move forward. Let's look at what's coming towards you. What is 2022 looking like for you, Taurus? Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Alrighty, Taurus. So, what's 2022 looking like for you? Let's find out. 2022. What's 2022 looking like for Taurus? First card out is the Empress. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Abundance. Feeling good, living your life, feeling yourself, being happy. You know... This transformation that you underwent, underwent in over the course of 2021 has freed you of so many burdens, Taurus, that I feel like now you can really start living your life. I just heard fancy free, okay? You have that with the emp Judgment. Okay. All right, what's 20, what else? What is 2022 looking like for Taurus here? What messages do you have for Taurus for the 2022? Okay, you have the King of Cups again. Okay, Wheel of Fortune is the overall energy. You really might want to watch the Aries reading, Taurus, because you've got a lot of similar energies to Aries here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you really might want to watch the Aries reading, okay? Because overall energy here, you have the Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Wands to the Ten of Cups to the Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles to the Emperor. And of course, the Empress is here on the floor, all right? But there is a big change in your tune coming. And if you haven't done so already, it's coming, okay? Especially in terms of the collective. Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles to the Emperor. This, I feel like, is you communicating to your community or people around you what you will or what you will and no will and will no longer accept in your life. Okay. You're definitely putting greater boundaries in place for your own self, for your own well-being, for your own happiness. All right. Um 
you are going to be working towards Eight of Pentacles, not having these types of energies that are emotionally manipulative or emotionally unaware, spiteful, petty. You're working your way. You're working your way out of that energy. You're working a way. Out, you're working your way out of that energetic resonance or energetic vibration because I feel like this is about you disconnecting from individuals that represent this. King of Cups in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords. I feel like here you definitely recognize why it is these people or these certain situationships or circumstances are where they are. But you're working your way out of that. Eight of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Empress here. All right? So 2022 is looking... Is looking like an energy in which you're setting the record straight for on your own behalf for people around you. People that have tried to use you, usurp your energy, whatnot, whatever. Okay, beautiful. I mean, that's pretty cut and try for you, Taurus. All right, so I'm going to give this three shuffles here. Let's get some closing oracle guidance for you. Yeah? One. Two. And three. All right, Taurus. So for the year of 2022, to wrap this whole reading up, what closing oracle guidance do we have for you? Card number eight, Star Child. Okay. The light of the stars exists in you. The earth wants you to share that light with humanity. You are asked to understand that you are meant to be here, that you have spiritual work to accomplish. Give up the idea that you belong somewhere else to another home in the stars. Instead, let the starlight of your inner being shine here on earth, where it shall make such a positive difference in the world. Fall in love with earth's beauty. She can and will support you in all ways. Okay, Taurus, I feel like... The for the year of 2022, I feel like your central focus is going to be on a level of self-sufficiency and helping to, well, first of all, not entertaining situations that do not promote a sense of or a certain level of self-sufficiency or whatnot, um, but also helping to promote that in other people. I don't necessarily know if you're going to be taking steps to do that or if it's just going to be happening through like energetic osmosis of like you just radiating this energy and it affecting people how it affects people um but what i'm getting here with star child and then also the empress and judgment for the 2022 for you since you are so connected to the earth okay you are like the empress represents you kind of right so i feel like there, it, it, I feel like over the course of this year, Taurus, you are going to be grounding or helping to ground some of this cosmic energy or these cosmic downloads in terms of reconnecting to nature, reconnecting to yourself, and building some sort of self-sufficiency for the self. It's like you're going to be a conduit for this energy to pour down from the universe into you, who is a representative of the earth as a Tauren. And I hope I'm saying this correctly, but like, it's like there's, it's like, I just, I feel like you're going to be a conduit for cosmic energy to ground it into the earth and to, for us to realize or to help teach people what we could really do if we were somewhat self-sufficient or um, if we just connected to the truth of nature, if we got reconnected to nature and started focusing on building nature and working with nature instead of working against it, how our lives could change from that, transform from that. I feel like you are going to be an advocate for this, okay? And that is beautiful. So good luck to you. I really hope this all works out well for you, yes? I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you would like to get a personal reading in which we do this exact thing, we look at the uh, the year of 2021 for you personally, and then we look at we look ahead and look at 2022. Um, if you would like to get a personal se session with me for that, shoot me an email. My email is in the description box below, um, and I will get you all set. 
Uh, yeah. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your year and an even better 2022. And I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye. <laughs>